Hi guys and welcome back to today's video. I'm Kelly from Compa and I'm a certified parrot advisor and animal management student. Today I would like to talk about the difference between the Timna African Grey and the Congo African Grey. Because did you know there's actually two subspecies? And which one do you have in your home? And one might be a better talker without you even knowing it. So without further ado, let's get into it! So let me first go over the similarities between the two subspecies. So we all know African greys, they're super smart, they can talk very well, they're amazing birds, can get stressed for quite quickly. And this is the case for both African grey species. Um, and there's another really interesting fact, and it is that the both species of subspecies of African grey, the Timna and the Congo, are actually not different species, but different subspecies, which means they can produce fertile offspring together. And it is quite rare for this to happen, but it is a possibility. They both have a grey plumage and uh, a red tail, although the Timnan has a less red tail than the Congo African grey. So, let me next get into the differences between the two subspecies. So the major difference is the size. The Congo African grey is quite a bit bigger than the Timna African grey. And the Congo African grey, as I said earlier, has a really bright red tail. And the Timna has a little bit less of a red, bright red tail. It's like more dull red. <laughs> Yeah, you can get more. I'm bribing Archie to be in the video because otherwise he's leaving and I know you guys like him in the video. <laughs> now next to the outside appearance of the Congo being bigger and the red tail, there's not much of a difference between the two species. Uh, it is a fact that the Timna is actually maturing faster and a lot of people actually say that the Timna is also more prone to talk easier or quicker, like earlier in its lifehood. The Congo might start talking when it's a 12 months let's say for example and the Timna might start talking when it's six months already and this has to do with the fact that the Timna African Grey matures faster so it grows faster and ages faster and this is why it might pick up the human speech a bit more quickly although of course this is different for every single individual bird because birds have very different personalities and another fact is that the Congo African Grey is uh, often quite quickly stressed and very prone to feather plucking um, the Tim African Grey is a bit more of a relaxed bird than the Congo and this is why they are a bit more suited to be pets maybe because they are not prone to plucking and stressing as much and they're a bit less afraid of strange new objects than the Congo would be for example. Now the Timna African Grey and the Congo African Grey both come from Africa obviously but they live in quite different regions and this is why in the wild they are not very prone to breeding together and this is why they are actual two different subspecies. You're not getting the pot of jar with seeds, okay? I love you, be in your chair. Thank you. Look, I'll bribe you. I'll leave a picture here uh, so you can see where both Timna and African, the Congo African Grey come from. So you have a general idea of where they are generally distributed in the wild. The, both the Congo African Grey and the Timna African Grey are actually really endangered in the wild and they are listed as endangered by the EU CN. And this is mainly because of people uh, stripping them away from their wildlife and um, hoarding nests and taking the babies away for the pet trade. When you're getting an African Grey, make sure that it has a situs so that you know that it is captive bred and not caught out of the wild. So I hope you learned a little bit about the difference between the Congo African Grey and the Timna African Grey. It was a bit of a shorter video, so I'm sorry for that. Next time we'll maybe do it longer again. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe and then hopefully we'll see you again next time. Bye bye!